and welcome back to Icarus Sticks. So let's go do our uh, new operation, Genesis Recovery, shall we? Put you in there. I'm actually gonna repair my X first. Alrighty, so new operation Genesis recovery let us go locate and retrieve a living biosample you know I've got a job for you if you don't mind who you're working for things haven't been running smoothly down there for them they've been losing teams equipment and resources so they're looking to outsource someone with a proven record because this one's gonna get wild mission retrieved required sample and ensure it's safe return to orbit note that the sample will be highly sensitive to death okay Let's see, find out the status of the creature research site in the desert region. So where do we have to go? There. Okay. So travel here, there, past here, through the desert, past the sandworms. Oh sure, can do. How's my ammo? Decent amount of ammo. Should be good. I have food and everything. Okay, so. Let's go. Uh, so I was for a moment hesitating because I was like, should I take a mount? But then I decided, nah, I don't need to. Interesting that these burnt trees are back. I thought I cut them all down, but. Oh well. I'm going to quickly check the uh, drill I placed here. Yep, it's there and running. So, that persisted, which is good. Okay, I could have done a composite shield, by the way, instead of the steel heater shield, but it's fine. encounter a bear around here there is usually a bear in this corner or at this corner I should say yep to the right by the sound of it so let's go do this new operation this environment compared to Prometheus, that's for sure. Normal dead trees or B trees? Nah, no, normal dead trees, okay. Uh, a lot more trees and grass and undergrowth and everything. Nice change. Plus, no haze, which you usually have on uh, Prometheus. So you can see everything way better, which is always nice, also nice. <coughs> Let's see where we're at. Uh, we still have a ways to go then. Okay. Yes, I know this open world is uh, easy mode and not hard mode, but still. You should get an idea of uh, the operation. A 
lots of growling left and right. There was another bear on the right. But yeah. Here I come a running, a running, I come. Oh. Almost made a jump. Almost. Another bear on the right. Uh, judging by the sound. Yes, it's definitely a bear. Alrighty, so we are nearing the uh, starting location in sticks. Just grab the arrow, leave the rest, don't care about the rest. Do I have enough fur to make a bedroll if necessary? I do. Do I have the leather? Uh, where's my bedroll? There's my bedroll. And campfire. I should be fine. Good. Don't have to worry about all that. Here already. Nope. I have to travel further this way. And uh, this stick, so I might be able to climb the cliffs, but isn't too hard to actually get around. Not here, it isn't. So let's just go around. Shouldn't be losing much time doing so anyway, so... Okay, go there... Hey, <laughs> yeah, all those uh, bushes and small trees, something I... Definitely... Okay, I got used to the uh, n to them not being there. Not sure yeah, how you say it properly in English. What the proper expression is. Definitely been a while since I was here. Like months ago. <laughs> She'll be able to outer in the wolf, yeah, she. Lots more wolves than I'm used to as well. And then go south. A little bit more south. Not straight south. Obviously. I do have the iron backpack on now though, so every weapon now has a chance to do electric damage. Bear to the left, not that health bar though, further to the left. Wolves over there, or a wolf. Almost sleepy time already. So better find a cave of some kind to sleep in. So 
I don't have to build a shelter. I mean, I can easily grab sticks and fiber to make a uh, thatch shelter. That ain't hard. But if there is a cave around here, if I can easily find one, it's gonna be easier, obviously. I believe there was a cave like thereabouts or something. To the right side of the lake. There's a geyser left. Because I believe uh, at some point I've built a base around that lake there. And then I during a mission probably. But uh, again, it's been a long, long time, so I could be mistaken. Is that the B tree? No, it's a dead tree. Just checking. Am I thinking? Um, no, I'm actually thinking of the lake of here as a cave there. Actually, let's just do the easy way, shall we? And quickly check a Chris Intel for caves. After all, that's why Chris Intel is for. Oh wait, yeah, of course there is the cave. It's a cave leading towards the desert. I forgot about that. Since it's a cave leading there, I can sleep in that their cave tunnel. So I actually should have taken the other side of the lake. Would have been faster. But it's fine. There's another bear around somewhere to the left. Um, where was the... Was there a path going up here? I don't recall anymore. Like I said, it's too long ago. see can I get up this is sticks and not Olympus so I might be able to actually get up the slope here yeah see there we are now we're almost there almost at a cave And there's a tunnel. Weather event or oh, heat wave even. Okay. Well, then we better stay in the cave itself. Go to the left. We'll take a right turn somewhere here again. Oh yeah. And there is the desert. So, let's see. A bedroll and a campfire. Now I rather await the uh, end of the storm before I go to sleep. Multiple sandworms here by the way. Cool. Yeah, I rather uh, await the uh, end of the sandstorm before going to sleep. 
so I can start traversing the desert proper. So there is a zebra killer uh, accolade. There's one counting towards the that accolade. Also, if it's uh, light during the day, it's easier for me to um, see what's happening around me. So, yeah. It does mean I'll have to uh, spend some time here in the cave. Hopefully not getting the cave cough. But then again, I do have pills on me. So, not the biggest issue. Howdy, Mosbo. Welcome. So, yeah. Mm -mm. Let's see, go down here. Um, from here, basically, straight to there. Avoiding sandworms and scorpions. So that should be the location of the, uh, of the base. No idea what to do once I'm there though. Something we will have to see. Uh, deactivate this one for now. Let's quickly reset the cave buff. The cave buff reset. Good. Okay. It's looking nice, the night sky here. With all the stars and everything in the big planet. Actually, I have binoculars on me too. Yeah. There's another moon. There is the planet Icarus is orbiting around. There's the moon. And there's some animal noises. Antelope. Yeah, I like it. I like the game. It's officially a nice game. See, you can actually see the planet move through the night sky and actually rotate as well. Uh, getting too much exposure. Huh? That's fine, I can sleep now. Activate you, grab everything so I can take it with, so I can use it if necessary. So basically, travel there and then head towards the uh, quest marker. I remember having done a thump around here and I hit together with Echo and we got murdered by the uh, land sharks. Fairly annoying. Scorp to the left. Which reminds me I'm running on two food buffs only. Let's quickly grab the third food buff and there we go I'm a tad low on uh, strawberry jam though but should be fine um, go around here uh, I don't think those sandworms are migrating I believe if it is migrating, it's actually migrating over there and then as well. So I'll have to keep my ears open. So 
so I can hear the sandworm coming. There. Crocodiles, don't care about crocodiles. I'm faster than crocodiles. I wonder whether or not we will see the uh, new animals which the patch notes were talking about. Maybe after I uh, reach a research station. We will see. Cougar. I'm only gonna grab my arrow. I'm gonna leave the rest. Elephant to the right. Oh, desert, have I missed you? Just a little bit. I should start an open world on hard mode on uh, sticks. So I can kill the sandworm and the scorpion on hard mode. Or maybe, very maybe, the uh, southern part of the Prometheus map will include desert. Not much chance, but hey, maybe. One can always hope. And because killing the scorpion and the sandworm uh, is way easier if you have the proper uh, gear, which is obviously easier. Oh, hello. I have to destroy nearby hyena dens. Good night, you. Hyena there. I want my arrow back. Time for the knife then. Uh, give me that. I have to find a hyena then. Hmm? Hello, where did you come from? Yeah, there's a lot of hyenas here. Okay, you're spawning here. Does this mean there's a den here? There is. I have to destroy it. Can I do this with a pickaxe? I am doing damage. Yes, yes, yes. I'm indeed destroying it. Boom! Oh, cougar, even. Ow. Food bus, food bus, food bus. Consume, consume. Okay. One then destroyed. There was some big boom there. Oh, there's the other one, huh? This one I can destroy from here. If I do that one first, I can be attacked in the back by the hyenas coming from this then. So let's first take out this one. And 
another Dengon. I like this knife. Can I stand on top of it? I can. <laughs> A bit of cheesy method, but hey, if it works. If it works, huh? It's a pack leader, huh? Where are at? Oh, there you are. Who? What is that? Strange egg clutches. Okay, grab the egg. Strange egg with movement inside must be close to hatching. Okay. Hatched the egg, so I need to craft an incubator in the fabricator. So, that means running back to base. Okay, we go run back to base. Where did the leader come from? Oh, can I destroy this one as well? No, I cannot. Okay. Check. This one. Oh, cool. I can grab more eggs. Nice. Uh, do they have, they have no durability? This is cool. So I can hopefully grab some more extra eggs. So I can <laughs> maybe hatch multiple eggs. That's going to be uh, funny. Yeah. Is it like you have to go uh, further than X distance away or is it time based? I don't know. Let's just get rid of some of these uh, carcasses. Basically everything minus the fur. Grab another egg. And let's skin everything here. How many eggs shall I bring? Five? Five gonna be a nice amount? I think so, right? Yeah, we'll go for five. Oh, I have five already. Good. Continue skinning this. Bestiary progress, huh? It's all bestiary progress, so. And I can use the uh, resources to, for example, make uh, bone arrows if I want to. Oh, I'm full of slots. Okay. You know what? Don't need those. Cougar, huh? Well, it's a dead cougar, that's for sure. I'm gonna grab another egg. Boom. Bones, so I can make nice epoxy. So I think it's good that I did not bring any mat. Really, you want to fight me? Um, actually, boom. Oh, I thought this would give me... Oh, of course not. I need this backpack. Sorry. That's gonna give me some more inventory slots. Seven eggs, I'll go for the full ten. I 
actually, I'm gonna take the uh, bones. Oh, and the uh, stringy meat. Eight. Can't even bring them all no more. No, I can. Okay, feel free to eat. That's enough. Nine eggs, one more. One more egg. Incubator, is it actually an unlock? Or is it just uh, added to the fabricator for this mission only? I think it's a letter. Because I don't see an empty blueprint here. You have to craft it in fabricator, so it's supposed to be tier 10, uh, tier 4, sorry. So, anyway. Yeah, let's go. Let's go back before we get a sandstorm or something here. 10 eggs. Not bad. Now I can make an omelette. Go here. So I don't have to jump off a cliff. Well, this that isn't too bad. Running 55, 60 FPS. Because there isn't a whole lot around here. So for a test at some point I actually made a, a base, I believe here or even here in the desert, uh, just to test out performance. It was very good performance, over 100 FPS, until I started building my base. And then my FPS actually went down, so yeah. Base pieces definitely uh, decrease performance. But performance was still way better than uh, when going into the forest. Because you know, all the trees and bushes and stuff, all has to be calculated, processed, so. But yeah, here yeah, made this uh, proper food. Look how, how far you can actually run, you know. Uh, the proper food and talent combination with the whole uh, bunny hop skip. Yeah. Basically, endless travel. So there should be sandworm over there. Hello for the achievements. Yes, I know it's a scorp. I'll just outrun it. No worries. Yeah, 
Yeah, the two sandworms here must be static ones. I believe I have the... Yeah. Attachment here. Can see world bosses on the map. It also gives me 15% critical damage. Which is uh, nice as well. Anyway. Those were the eggs in the desert. I'm glad they have no durability, no spoiling uh, and such. Otherwise this mission would have become quite a bit harder. Um, no. Here. No, like I said, it's too long since I've been here. I have to take the other side. I have to go here. Take a left here. If voila, forest. So running sixty FPS today. Uh, <laughs> spoke too soon, down to 50. 55. Should be able to go down here. Yeah, see, I remember this from the last time I was here. So. Now we're in back to base. Let's actually. Okay, I do have an empty jar already. Good. So, consuming this jar will not uh, take up an extra slot in my inventory, which is good. Okay, 50 FPS. Briefly dropped to like 10. I'm back up to 55, 50, 55. So, not bad. Not a bad. Uh, let's see, where are we? Yeah, basically, go on to there and then slightly to the left. Check. And, uh, no, no, and then go down here. And then we can continue. Shemi, I think, on the left. Might have been a pronghorn. Um, actually, I'm gonna stay on top for a moment. Because I believe if I go down, I have to go up at the end again. This is a uh, stick, so animals are tougher than in Olympus, however, not as tough as in Prometheus, so... I should be safe enough. Just don't uh, poke the bear if you don't need to. Small trees, eh? Bear somewhere front. Must be dead. Health bar. Oh, I have to actually have to go here. I'd rather not go through the Arctic. I mean, shorter, yes. But. If you get caught in, uh, in a blizzard there, uh, it's not the nicest thing to experience. 
So let's just go around the mountains here. Easy. Uh, the horses alone are tougher on uh, Prometheus. So, let's see. Do you have stringy meat which I can grab? No. Okay, no, I'll just grab your bones. Uh, basically, go there and then follow the river. So, you don't have to worry about. Uh, Scaling down steep cliffs. Look at the view here. Isn't it nice? Isn't it beautiful? Mm, yeah, that last p uh, cliff I can scale down relatively easily so this is the steep one um, all the annoying small trees I definitely don't miss those in uh, Prometheus that's for sure right ho oh. And home. And home. Following the river is going to be the easiest. Uh, if need be, you can swim down waterfalls if yeah, if you don't want to uh, jump off the cliffs. So yeah. Shouldn't need to do that too much though. Yeah. I remember crossing this valley from south to north following the river together with uh, Echo. At that point we could do it almost without stopping to regen stam. I reckon I can do it completely without stopping to regen my stamina right now. Hey. Oh, we're almost at the uh, bear corner again. Bear corner where I decided to fight a bear with my fists. Huh. Wasn't the best plan with all the lag. I can tell you that. I mean, I managed to survive, don't get me wrong, but the lag in this corner did make it unnecessarily difficult. Yeah, it ain't too bad right now, I think, likewise. Still running 45 FPS, so, uh, here, <laughs> this part. 
You hear the bear to the left? Yeah. I decided to run up to it and hit it in the head. Not gonna do it right now though. Right now I'm more interested in getting getting the eggs home safe and build the incubator. Jump over the wolf. Outrun the wolf. getting there we are getting there there's where I place the drill there's a pot see almost home And there's the base. Alrighty. Hello base. Miss me? Stringy meat. Goes there. Boom. Leather. Goes there. Boom. Grab some leather back so I still have something. Uh, material processor is here. Bones. So I can make some more crushed bone. Bunch of eggs. Uh, some fiber I'll put in here as well. Because why not? Fabricator, make an incubator, research incubator, 10 steel, 2 electronics, 15 glass. Ten steel, I need copper for making more uh, Electronics. So let's make some copper wire then. Just a bit. Then steel, 15 glass. Only have seven. I'll just need to smelt some more uh, silica then. Smelt silica. Is there some glass in the glass working bench? Where are you? There you are. No, there is not. No glass in here. Nope. Okay. Just wanted to check. I need like two electronics. Make some more gold wire. Hey, there is seven glass here. Cool. I'll make some more copper wire. You can go there. there let's pull in the eggs a little bit in my inventory the jars can go here and let's put the iron backpack on I like the iron backpack just because
there's the electronics I need for the incubator. Oh. Consume and consume. Electronics go in here. Incubator. Research incubator. A thousand power and five hundred. Water. Deploy the incubator. Where shall I deploy it? In the pen? Good as well, right? What were you doing? You're trying to mount a horse. I wonder what kind of animal <laughs> would have resulted out of that. Ah, they're out of food again, huh? And out of water. Poo. Okay, do I have anything in here? Water container? I do not. Uh, do I have like a canteen or something somewhere? I'll just make one. Bear outside, I don't care about. Uh, so yeah, I kind of want to um, make sure I have enough food before uh, <laughs> starting to incubate the egg. But then again, egg probably is going to take some time to uh, incubate the egg anyway. So I should have enough time. Food trough. So you can go in there and slowly fill up. Come on, folks. Let me pass, please. Okay, so let's deploy the incubator, shall we? Boom. Now we're going to hook it up. from here and going there and now we switch to the electricity tool can I see the connection point now it's like inside the uh, I might be able to see it in here though yeah let's see there we go I can put the beam back. There you go. Okay. Let's see. Animal food. Y'all ain't growing very much, are you now? You are, though. Are so you and you? Oh, I'm full on inventory slots. Sorry. Um. Pop off the seeds quickly. Free up some slots. I can grab those. Harvest those. Uh, let's quickly put away the water and electricity tool. Place the egg in the incubator. This is going to free up another slot. So yeah, I could do that as well. And if I put on this backpack, then I can have e I'll have even more slots to. gather food in hatch the egg 
incubator active is not ticked. That is interesting. Anyway, corn, corn, corn. I know they like berries as well. Uh, they'll eat this. They might eat this. How many slots? I have one slot free. Let's first put away the seeds. There you go. And I can grab those as well. Rhubarb seeds go there. Let's see, I'll make some pickled uh, avocados. And I'll put the rest in the food troughs. Oh, sorry. I wanted to close the door, but you were in the way. Right, let's see. Here, I can give you some food here. Is there another food trough? There is not. Okay, that's fine. I'll check some beans in here. I'll give you some more berries. The same here. Some more berries in the corn and the rhubarb. Okay, so, food and water should be fine for now. I'm not sure why I'm... What's going on here? Almost like some invisible wall thingy-ish. Anyway, 51% hatching progress. Still haven't seen any weird animals though. Which is kind of a pity. I was hoping for some uh, nice uh, animals. Oh, hello. Shouldn't be outside, but this is not out. Should be outside. Hold on. Hold on. Should you be placed outside? Doesn't really stay, right? Are we sure he's hitting creatures now? Yes, we are. So. Well, it is. Okay, this one here should be outside then. Should be inside. Really? Well, in that case. No, it should be outside. Huh. No, it's outside. So now I need to connect power. This should be an active power line, I thought. It is not. It should. Let's see, can I... No, it is not. Is this a worked power line? That's bull. I see. I can hook it up to here. Yeah, 
So it has power now. Research incubator is definitely connected there now. Um, as for the water, I just have to bring water up here now. It should be easy enough. Connected, yeah. Research incubator is actually connected. Good. Interesting that it actually started to incubate. Ah, well. So it did start to incubate, even though apparently it wasn't outside, whilst it should have been outside. Hmm. Uh, uh, as usual, I'm gonna wait till the storm's over, then I'm gonna go sleep and... Well, I could already place an egg in the incubator, by the way. Because why not? Will it continue where it left off? Nope. Gonna start a new. That's fine though. Yeah. Mosbo's mayhem. Yeah, yeah. Decoration bench is here, huh? Art, deco, wall, light. What do I need for that? Here you are. Four gold wire and two glass. I thought I smelled the glass in here. Where's the other one? Oh, here it is. Uh, nope. That one, yes. And the... Let's make two of those, why not? They do generate a ton of light, so... How am I out of then? Ah, stone, probably, yeah. And then we find gold. Both of them are easy enough to gain, to get. Look at the amount of light you get, man. I have to place one and the other one here. Come on. There you go. 
And to there, and then to there. Where is she? Quite a lot of light. Okay. Anyway, just for fun, geez. My power demand did go up quite a bit, though. How much is the research thingy uh, pulling? Incubator 1k, well, not so bad. Anyway, um, yeah, 82%. Let's quickly go sleep. Activate you. Yeah, look, total goes is 539 or 559, 569, all selling in the same spot. 557. So, yeah, they definitely fixed that. I wish you could put the day night uh, switches on. Uh, maybe that's a bit too uh, advanced. Ninety-nine percent. Hello, hello, snuffles. You mine. Equip a cell in order to access this mine's cargo inventory. Huh? Two heads or two snuggles? Hold on. Two snuggles. Well, you're gonna be mine as well, snuffles with an F. One egg, two snuffles. Cool. I want more snuffles. Okay, this must be a uh, bug snuffles. Of course, I can't do anything with it. Ah, snuffles too. Anyway, snuffles, you can come with me. Come on, Snuffles, get in, get in the door, there you go, close you, stay, I'll bring you a set door, or do you still have to, no, you are, should be fully tamed and adult version, yeah, okay, um, but somehow it did not finish the quest step, which is odd, Nope, this one here. I'm gonna need some rope. Let's actually make some spare rope as well. Okay. Let's see, can I put a saddle on? I can't, huh? Can't even put a saddle on. So that's one bug snuffles then. Okay. That just means I'll have to try again with another snuffles. Uh, 
this connect you this connect you pick you up and I'm gonna place you there let's bring the water to the new location and power as well Should be hooked up proper now, right? Not. Ah, come on, it's a power line worked again. You are not worked. So there you go. Let's try another snuffles. I don't know what's going on here. I can't even kill you? Okay. You're some weird snuffles then. Can I kill the others? Or at least hurt the other snuffles? I can. Okay. Yeah. He is the bug. Close as well before the mower goes out. Something weird going on with this one. Ah, I hope I won't have to uh, restart a mission. Because if I would have to abandon it. I then also wonder what will happen with my current snuffles. Hey, is there? Uh, oh no, it's not a gap there. I where I put the uh, forge, I think. Let's quickly have a look there. Only 35% hatching anyway, so. Um, actually, yeah, I see, it's the forge. I <laughs> consider outside because this wall here is missing. Yeah. yeah. Quickly checking the roofs here, making sure they haven't taken any weather damage. After all, it is uh, unprotected glass. Those I can actually check by uh, checking the power line. Wind turbine 1750, so they are not damaged by weather. Good. Just wanted to make sure. Then again, it is an easy mode, uh, open world, so weather damage, hopefully not too big of an issue here. Anyway. I wonder, right? Do I watch my shotgun? If I grab my shotgun, explode shotgun shells. Nope. You're not even uh, being damaged by. Oh wow, this was such an old shotgun. It still had an eight-shot magazine. <laughs> yep. 
But yeah, not even damaged by the uh, explosive shotgun shells. Yeah, it's definitely something wrong with that snuffles. So let's see how this one is gonna fare. So incubator is active, it says, but it's not ticked off. Huh. Don't know. I have seen people complain complain about this, but I thought it was experimental branch and it was fixed before the update. Complain about is like hey somehow the uh, mission is not being uh, ticked off, <coughs> whilst others were like yeah no problem for me. So yeah I don't know. There's another snuffles. But yeah, the mission did not take over. Can I rename you? Looks like I can. Nope. Tamed by nobody. So you, what, you can only have one snuffles? Okay. Oh wait, there's again a double one. Yeah. Well, I have two proper snuffles now. Neither of them I can uh, put a saddle on there. I'm gonna... If you follow me to the far end of the pen here. Good. You can... Stay and stay. Well, if that's the case, then the best thing to do might actually be... Uh, try again tomorrow. I'll do one more, just for fun. And hey, am I glad that I brought some extra snuffles eggs? Imagine if I only would have brought one snuffles egg. That would have been annoying. Because then I would have had to travel back there, and then I probably would have taken a MOA. And went through the and gone through the Arctic. Yeah, if I only had uh, taken one moa, I told you one moa, one egg, then. Uh, yeah, would have been slightly more annoying. There's no roof corner, so I can't close it off. Okay, that's fine though. Yeah, look, the arrow is even hitting the ground here. Like, it's just ghost of a snuffles. Went straight through the snuffles. You can't do 
nothing with them. I also don't have no setup, but then again, it could be because I didn't tame it, but still. I don't know. If this ain't gonna work either, then I'm uh, gonna try again tomorrow. Uh, actually, it depends on whether or not I'm gonna game tomorrow. Like tomorrow morning, early morning, as usual, every other week. Uh, grocery delivery, so. And I do have a social uh, obligation l later on tomorrow, so depends on what time I'm home and how tired I am. I might or might not uh, stream tomorrow. If I don't stream tomorrow, I'll definitely be streaming Sunday, so. This weekend there should still, uh, there should definitely be... Uh, more news about the whole snuffles issue. But yeah, like I said, one more. Just for fun. And then I still have seven snuffle eggs remaining, so. Yeah, I wonder what kind of animal uh, we were supposed to, uh, possibly, supposed to, we might possibly see. The snuffles is definitely the one in the in the arts, at the top of the patch notes. There's definitely snuffles here. And Snuffles also doesn't have a whole lot of health. <laughs> 99 health only. Okay. Anyway, um, I have enough slots, so let's put on the iron backpack. Hey, you hear me? Don't get bugged as well. Snuggles again, uh, snuffles. I can't put cell on you either. image again okay come on snuffles three come on in close the door bring you next to your buddies stop following yeah I'm gonna have to try again next time, cause with these ghost snuffles and those uh, not working snuffles, nah, I'm gonna be uh, nice. So, 
Well, at least it gave you an idea of, uh, of the uh, operation. What's uh, supposed to be, what it looks like, and, and such. So at least it wasn't completely in vain. So there's that. And if I have to restart the mission, uh, the entire operation again, uh, the next time, at least we know what to expect. So it should be easier to do. Anyway, I'm gonna call it right now. Like I said, uh, groceries in the morning. And I do appreciate at least getting some sleep. Oh, here's the couch. So yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching me play. If you did, a like would be appreciated. Follow on Twitch and uh, like and subscribe on YouTube. You know the drill. Uh, so yeah. Other than that, thanks for being here. And I will see you folks around.